guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8, so are you really the only one who really likes me? So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Honestly, that looks so fucking good. I'm hungry as hell. And so let me guess, that day, she fell in love with him. Mm-hmm.
No. I fucking can't. Oh, she's so cute. You made a damn lunch for this boy? You're gonna have nothing for you. <laughs> oh my god, Sue! It's a little more awkward to have all these girls together. <laughs> oh yeah, because, you know, um... Oh my god, Cosmos, you made... <laughs>
Oh, yep, here comes Sima. <laughs> There you go. Oh my god, Sakura! Yeah, I bet you, you know, Tsubaki ain't gonna mind. I mean, the more the merrier. You know, he's a boring boy and he needs to eat. <laughs> That's what I want to know, too. Is he? Yeah. Oh. That's fine. Take your time. What if it's like some ultimate like X rated fan fiction or some shit? <laughs> That's two. No. Oh, dead. <laughs> No, not that. Ah, <laughs> uh, she thinks that's her. 
Oh my god, yeah, you lost the damn book. Oh my god. She gonna kill you. What if they have the book? Yeah. Pansy really gonna kill you. Seriously? There is no way in hell I can buy a brand new copy of that book. Oh, she really gonna kill you. Uh, you better help Pansy doesn't find out. Oh my god. Yeah, can't talk about that. Oh, that ain't bad. That is good as fuck. Yeah. Besides, he probably couldn't look at you in the face after what happened. Oh. Yeah. 
I know you want to be nice about it, but. I know it's something that she doesn't want you to do, but it's so nice that he's doing it, though. But the fact is, I don't think she wanted him to spend time with her. I will say, she did come at a really good time, because who would have known, like, if he, you know, still fucked up the book. It really wasn't his fault, though. But it was in his possession, and, you know... If someone, and this has happened to me several times in my life for when I have friends um, borrow, like, any one of my books, any one of my um, DVDs or anything, and they don't return it to me in the exact same copy that I've lent it out to them, oh, I get hella pissed. I'm like, I, I, well, no, I've never really called anyone a bitch or anything, but there have been some friends in the past who have replaced my stuff. And then there are some friends that I've met who haven't really replaced anything for anything that they broke or fucked up and stuff. And some people think, oh, no, well, you should have been more harder on them. And I was like, I was. But there are some people who really don't care about a damaged good when it was their fault that they fucked it up and not yours. It was in your mother effing possession when it got ripped and stuff. So you have no one to blame but yourself at the end of the day. But I'm glad that he's doing this, even though, yes, she didn't want him to do it because of the fact that she is a little jealous of Tsubaki. I mean, who wouldn't be? Out of all of them, you know, she met him first in a weird way. Well, kind of. But it's just, I don't know. It, like, he looks good with everybody. I don't know. I mean, I, I still love him with Pansy because, you know, Pansy and Pansy look great together. But I don't I like with Tsubaki, I feel like with her, I don't know why. It's just this weird feeling I have. I feel like I can't trust her. Something about her, it just seems a little off to me. Even though I love the fact that she wants to serve him and shit like that, because there are some women who want to do that for their husbands, boyfriends, whatever. I'm not that type of girl. You know, if I'm making dinner or if we're making dinner together, I, you know, I may make you a plate and stuff. But then if you in the same room with me and I just made something, you can make it yourself. You can get it for yourself. Unless you don't know how to cook. Like, And I've met some guys who do not know how to fucking cook. And I was just like, excuse me? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just something about her just seems a little off to me and it could literally be anything but it could just be nothing at the end of the day but we ain't gonna really know until next week but I do love the fact still that he just wants to replace it for her but those two girls the pink haired and the blue haired girl I feel like we're gonna see them again because I think they're in the opening as well so they probably might be in next week's episode or the following episode not 100% sure um but it seems like maybe the pink haired girl kind of a little bit maybe not really blue haired girl because that girl was like i really don't want to give you the time of day i want to go home um she could have a little thing for Jodo. i'm not 100 percent sure we ain't really gonna know until later on in this dm series because we're like literally almost done i think we got like a couple more weeks before this show is done i believe but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 8 of Are You Really the Only One Who Likes Me? If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 9. Bye, guys.